Hanukkah is a story of finding faith during the darkest nights when everything on the outside says those lights will never be rekindled. In the New Testament, Christians read the words of John regarding Hanukkah and it curiously says it was winter. Hanukkah and the winter are very much combined. I think about the story of Hanukkah when it actually happened. These were very dark times for the Jewish people. Will God's holy presence ever dwell amongst us again after we've brought pigs on the holy altar? How many times in our life do we go through this? Feeling really close to God, but then something happens, maybe not in our control, and we feel so distant, we feel so far. And we say, God, will I ever be close to you again? Will it ever be the way that we were? And Hanukkah comes to say, yes. Hanukkah is here to prepare ourselves, our body and soul, just like King David did. King David talks about the dedication of the temple, yet it was before the temple was even built. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. What King David knew was that we have to first dedicate ourselves and prepare ourselves to receive the light of God, the word of God, the spirit of God, in order to be ready for that rededication in the winter. Hanukkah is the rededication, the rekindling of God's holy lights. Light one little candle in your heart, and then light two little candles, three little candles, and every little candle we add on, then we will have our full menorah, our full light shining down. Just like King David said, Lord, you have turned my wailing into dancing. Lord, I will praise you forever. Hanukkah is exactly what does that. That turns the darkness into light. That turns the winter into comfort. That turns our wailing into dancing. Happy Hanukkah, my friends. Shalom from the Holy Land.